What's up, you wacky adventure lovers, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have Michael Carreras' 1968 classic hammer adventure horror flick. It is The Lost Continent, and it is really out there. This one is just really strange, but really, really fun, so let's just jump into the madness. Here is The Lost Continent. <laughs> The Lost Continent is a fantastical and weird late 60s adventure film, brought to us by the legendary British film studio Hammer Films. Baffling, unusual, and completely lost in cinematic uncharted waters, the production thrills with its flawed and jaded characters while astounds with its over-the-top unusual material and warped fantasy elements. When it comes to bizarre content, especially ones that you never thought you would witness on the silver screen. The Lost Continent definitely takes the top spot on strange and unusual productions that boggle the mind on how they ever got past the pre-production process. The film follows the doomed crew and passengers of an old freighter ship, captained by an ornery seaman named Captain Lanson, as they make their way to South America with highly explosive illegal cargo and a slew of seedy passengers, all with various reasons they are fleeing their current situations. After a series of mishaps including a compromised hull, mutiny, and an unrelenting storm, the survivors find themselves stranded in a lost world filled with deadly man-eating vines, grotesque giant monstrosities, and a nefarious cult of Spanish conquistadors who want to convert them into their clan or sacrifice them to their maleficent god. Can they escape this island of madness, or will they forever be trapped on the lost continent? Performed in eclectic style and insanely unsympathetic, the characters of this wild and obtuse fantasy-infused flick really do span the gamut of unusual and off-putting individuals, making for a bizarre cinematic experience that genuinely makes the entire ride unexpected and unpredictable. From hard-headed asshole captains, to insufferable drunks, to slutty opportunistic wenches, and everything in between, the film is jam-packed with a wild amalgam of miscreants that you love to hate in the beginning but slowly start to root for as the film tumbles into an uncontrollable frenzy of what-the-hell proportions. The struggling survivors and off-putting maniacs of this unbelievable adventure flick are Eric Porter as Captain Lanson, a crotchety and unscrupulous sea captain who puts every person on his ship in mortal danger. Hildegard Neff as Eva Peters, an on-the-run heartbreaker who's running from the law and struggling to get back to her son. Tony Beckley as Harry Tyler, a rich drunk asswipe who surprisingly turns sober hero. Susanna Lee as Unity Webster, a horny hussy whose main concern is to get laid at any and all costs. Dana Gillespie as Sarah, a beautiful and extremely buxom native of the Lost Continent and the literal eye candy of the flick. And finally, Neil McCallum as First Officer Hemmings an honorable and sensible man, surrounded by a crew of numbskulls. Totally mad and filled to the brim with eccentric characters, The Lost Continent is a ludicrous production to say the least, and that's partly thanks to the wild performers on screen and their painstaking efforts to keep up with the bizarre nature of the picture. Speaking of bizarre, the film is lambasted with a cacophony of unusual moments and freaky situations that it often feels like stumbling into a fever dream of insanity around every corner. The creature effects in the movie are beyond words weird, ranging from psychotic crab beasts to tentacled monstrosities, all designed in a strange puppet style that makes them as frightening as they are just plain silly. The gonzo quality of the story and eventual descent into madness when the crew and passengers finally arrive on the continent of nightmares is a thing of obscure beauty, and the bedlam that we find within this production is delightfully entertaining and without a doubt original as all hell. The brutal nature of the world is bar none exceptional, and you truly never know who, if any, will survive this constant barrage of weirdness. As far as one of Hammer Film's most wild efforts, it's a ridiculously enjoyable one and one you won't soon forget. In the end, The Lost Continent is a bizarre oddity of monstrous proportions. And there you have it, my obscure beauties. That is the very strange and ultimately surreal nightmare hammer flick. That is uh, The Lost Continent. Just mind-boggling to say the least. Really, really strange. The creature 
uh, designs and executions are strange. The whole premise is weird as hell. Just a very enjoyable Hammer film. Uh, one that I recently picked up and very glad it's in the collection. But guys, that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I'll see you guys the next time I'm in front of the camera talking about movies. Take care.